Hi everyone. Today I wanted to read through the Bern Convention for the Protection of Literary and Artistic Works with you. And as we are aware, Bern Convention deals with protection of literary and artistic work that roughly translates to copyright protection. This uh, was last amended in 1979 and it came in the year of 1886 whereas the pa- Paris Convention came in the year 1883. this deals with industrial property rights such as patents trademarks industrial designs etc right so um, we'll be reading through bern convention and what it says about copyright protection the particular provisions of this convention have been further translated into the trips agreement and then thereafter into our domestic law that is the copyright act of 1959 so we see that this is the table of contents article 1 tells us there is an establishment of union article 2 tells us what are the protected works that is the subject matter so we see that the scope of the bern convention is being restricted to the protection of rights of authors in their literary and artistic works article 2 further tells us what are protected works so first clause tells us literary and when we say the word literary and artistic works what all does it include it says that it shall include shall means necessarily it will include every production in the literary scientific and artistic domain whatever may be the mode or form of its expression such as books pamphlets other writings lectures addresses sermons and other forms of the same nature dramatic or dramatico musical works choreographic work and entertainments and dumb show musical compositions with or without words cinematographic work which are assimilated works expressed by a process analogous to cinematographic work of drawing painting architecture sculpture engraving and lithography photographic works to which are assimilated work expressed by a person analogous to photography works of applied art illustrations maps plans sketches and three dimensional works related to geography topography architecture or science so we see that the two words like literary and artistic works goes on to include a lot of things such as music cinematographic work paintings architecture sculpture photography maps and sketches are also included so so the underlying domain and um, subject matter is quite wide however it is not an exhaustive list that means uh, the usage of the word shall include suggests that these are the clear cut things that will be included in the definition of literary and artistic works but other things can also be included next clause 2 tells us that it is a matter for legislation in the countries of the union to prescribe that works in a general or any specified categories of work shall not be protected unless they have been fixed in some material form so here we see the requirement of fixation like whether fixation needs to be done or does not need to be done becomes a criteria as we will see in indian statute also for some things you necessarily require fixation but in other cases you don't require fixation however in us fixation is made as a mandatory requirement why fixation becomes an important factor of consideration is to understand uh, for example if someone is reciting a poem verbatim uh, like on the spot he is reciting a poem it is not being recorded he is not recorded it anywhere but will he get protection over that performance like him reciting that poem is he eligible to get copyright protection over that performance or for example uh, someone creates a snow sculpture in a cold region and after the winter period is over or within a day or two when the sun comes out it melts away and there is no recording of it will you will the person who has created that snow sculpture get copyrightable right over it if it is not fixed so it is the discretion of the countries who are member to this convention to decide whether fixation is necessary or not so this is an article 2 
थ्री टेल्स अस अबाउट ट्रांसलेशंस एडेप्टेशन एंड अरेंजमेंट्स ऑफ म्यूजिक एंड अदर ऑल्ट्रेशन ऑफ अ लिटरी और आर्टिस्टिक वर्क शैल बी प्रोटेक्टेड एज ओरिजिनल वर्क्स विदाउट प्रेजिडिस टू दी कॉपी राइट इन दी ओरिजिनल वर्क दिस वी हैव डिस्कस बिफोर दैट इफ देर इज अ बुक दैट इज रिटन इन इंग्लिश एंड इफ आई ट्रांसलेटेड इन टू हिंदी और इफ आई क्रिएट अ ड्रामा आउट ऑफ दैट बुक और आई Uh, have some arrangement of music or other alteration to such a literary or artistic work then the copyright in this subsequent work that will be derivative work will be separate from the copyright that is given to the original work then clause 4 says it shall be a matter for legislation in the countries of the union to determine the protection to be granted to official texts of a legislative administrative or legal nature and to official translation of such texts uh, texts that are forming part of legislature administrative and legal nature and the translations thereof have to be given copyright protection or not is something that the countries will decide themselves we see uh, that uh, uh, section 52 of the copyright act uh, takes precludes all these things from the garb of uh, copyright protection so it is in public domain for anybody to uh, access the materials and this we have seen in the case of ebc versus db modak where it was clarified that judgments form part of public domain and nobody can claim uh, protection um, copyright over the publication of the same next collections of literary or artistic works such as encyclopedias anthologies which by reason of the selection and arrangement of their content constitute intellectual creation selection and arrangement so the manner in which selection and arrangement has been done reflects that there is some intellectual creation that has been put into the work and um, so one person can get copyright over this collection and it will be without prejudice to the copyright in each of the works forming part of such collection for example you are compiling articles on uh, Uh, copyright law that are present you are just compiling it in one place you are only putting efforts into uh, segregating these articles on the basis of uh, fundamental principles that are discussed like some articles that are discussing originality are clubbed together at one place discussing about fixation are being clubbed at one place so you you as you as the author and creator of that work has put some intellectual effort into deciding the selection and arrangement of this collection and hence you will get a copyright however you do not get copyright over the work the articles that you are quoting because authors who have written that article have the copyright over it to clause 6 the works mentioned in this article shall enjoy protection in all countries of the union this protection shall operate for the benefit of the author and his successors in title so whatever grounds that are cl- uh, clarified here shall include as we discussed this is not an exhaustive list all the countries have to necessarily grant protection to at least the things that are mentioned here then subject to the provisions of article 74 of this convention it shall be a matter for legislation in the countries of the union to determine the extent of the application of their laws to works of applied art and industrial designs and models such as the conditions under which such works designs models shall be protected works protected in the country of origin solely as designs and models shall be entitled in another country of the union only to such special protection as is granted in that country to designs and models however if no such special protection is granted in that country such work shall be uh, protected as artistic work this provision necessarily uh, deals with the com- conflict that might arise between copyright versus design so uh, copyright is over an art like you have uh, drawn a face over a canvas this is an art however if this becomes your uh, uh, design for the shirts that you are printing i think this is a this is a design that is used by um, justin bieber in his uh, shirt so this becomes a design and get pr- gets protection under design act so this is what the provision is dealing with like if your country is giving you a protection for design then the other country will also uh, be giving you design protection however if your country does not have design protection to begin with then uh, even if country like for example your country is a and you are seeking protection in country b if you have gotten a design protection here and this country also allows design protection so you will get design protection here but if this 
country A does not provide you design protection, even if country B provides this protection, it will not give you. You will be registered as artistic work. Okay. The protection of this convention shall not apply to news of the day or to miscellaneous facts having the character of mere items of press information. So this is just to. Uh, ensure that uh, the domain of information that is protected is not becoming too cumbersome and some certain informations are left for the uh, public domain so this is here a question could arise here like uh, if you are quoting without giving reference to news articles or uh, uh, news headlines is that a copyright infringement or not as per this convention it's not because it's just a miscellaneous fact of mere item of press information that you are quoting however the way they would have covered that information cannot be verbatim copied by you and put up as your own content uh, somewhere else